The British soldier who baffled commuters with briefcase shenanigans. The military career of the British soldier known as Mad Jack Churchill is an oxymoron in the sense that it has been expansively covered online by websites that all try and talk about him like you've never heard the story of the soldier who fought in WW2 with a sword and longbow. Before that though, if you have somehow avoided ever learning about Jack Churchill, he was a British army officer famous for carrying a broadsword and longbow into battle. For example, a popular story about Churchill is that he has the only confirmed longbow kill of WW2, which sure sounds cool but was something Churchill himself repeatedly denied. Explaining that while he sure as shit planned on killing some Nazis with his trusty longbow, he was never actually able to do that because it was run over by a truck like four days into the war. Churchill is also credited with single-handedly capturing 40 Nazis with nothing more than a sword, which while more accurate than the longbow thing, isn't exactly the whole story. For starters, while that sentence probably conjures up an image of Churchill running towards the enemy in broad daylight with his sword in hand and a throbbing erection, the whole thing. Churchill also had help from another soldier who kept watch on each of the Nazis he captured, save for one who Churchill led around at gunpoint and forced to lure each of his comrades out into the open whereupon he'd threaten them into dropping their weapons with his giant sword. Which, while still all kinds of impressive, because Churchill did manage to capture an opposing force that outnumbered him 20 plus 1, he did so more through subterfuge and guile than. Moving on, Churchill's exploits after the war are less well known, which is a shame because they're kind of amazing. For example, shortly after the war ended Churchill took up surfing and became the first person to ride the Severn Boar, a giant wave that, 